Good morning everybody, Cher here with you. Welcome back to my channel. So this morning I'm just about to make myself an eggnog latte and a nice warm yummy bowl of oatmeal and I thought I would just jump on here and share how I make both of those with you guys. Recently I've had a lot of questions asking me how I make my eggnog lattes so here's how I do it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is heat up some eggnog and I prefer to use the light. Um, it just saves a few calories and I find this stuff to be totally rich enough for me and thick enough. And I like to make my lattes in these nice tall glasses but you can use a regular mug if you want. So just give your eggnog a little shake. I'm so sad. This, I'm getting down to the bottom here. Almost done <laughs> for the season. So I like to put about half a cup in here. I fill it up to about there and then I'm just going to put this in the microwave for one minute and no longer because I don't want it to overflow and boil over. So I find that one minute is just perfect in my microwave. You might have to experiment a little bit in your own microwaves but so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So here's what it looks like straight out of the microwave. You see how it came all the way up to the top but it didn't boil over and it's nice and frothy already. It looks yummy. So now the next step is just to make some espresso. Now, if your machine doesn't allow you to make espresso, mine does, I have a Ninja and I love this machine. Um, but you could also just use your co regular coffee, like a really strong coffee would be perfect for this as well. And which is what I'm gonna actually be using today. I found this amazing coffee at Winners uh, just before the holidays. And I definitely will be buying this again next year. I'll be on the lookout for this. This is amazing. It's so yummy. It's a peppermint mocha flavor. And yeah, so I just brew some of that right on top of my eggnog and it is delicious. And yeah, I will definitely be picking some more of these up next year. I hope they bring it back again. So that's what I actually have in my trusty little cute little red truck jar here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two scoops of this coffee right into my basket. There we go. And I'm going to brew... I like to put a little box under here just to lift up my cup because my little stand doesn't let my big mug here sit underneath here so I'm gonna go ahead and just brew my coffee over top and I'm gonna use the specialty button which is actually the espresso button and so that's just gonna brew me a nice strong coffee over top and so I'll let that do its thing and when I come back I'll show you how yummy it looks it actually kind of separates into layers when I do that and it looks so delicious That beep is always music to my ears, let me tell you. <laughs> so see how beautifully this is kind of separated into different layers here? And so I'm now just gonna switch this over so it doesn't keep dripping. And there is my yummy eggnog latte. Now if this isn't quite hot enough, sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. I'll just put it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds or so. And yeah, it is just so, so delicious. So there we go. There's first part of my breakfast. So on a cold winter's day there's nothing better than a nice warm bowl of oatmeal. Uh, this is one of my favorite breakfasts <laughs> that I, I kind of keep going to time and time again. So what you're going to need is just some regular old oatmeal. So I put about seven heaping tablespoons in here. I don't actually measure it. I just kind of eyeball it to three, four, five, six, Seven. So I've kind of basically half filled my little bowl here. And then basically you can just put in whatever you like. Now I like to use some chia seeds. These are really good for you. So again, I put probably about a half a tablespoon or so of chia seeds in there. And I like to sweeten my oatmeal. So I use brown sugar. And you don't need too, too much of this. Maybe about, I don't know teaspoon or so, tablespoon or however much you like. And then this is where you get to be a little bit creative. <laughs> if you're not a fan of raisins, of course, admit the raisins, but I really like raisins and they give it a little bit of sweetness as well. So I'll just throw a few of those in there. And I also am a fan of nuts in my oatmeal. So I've just got kind of a mixture of some walnuts and some sliced uh, almonds in here. So I put a few of those in, it gives a little crunch as well. And then the last thing I put in is a little bit of cinnamon. Don't need too, too much of this because it kind of overpowers it if you put too much. I just sprinkle a little on top like that. And then last of all, you just need to add some water. Now I just basically 
add enough water to kind of moisten everything. So kind of like kind of like a like a soup almost. You want it to be a little bit sloppy, but not too too runny. So kind of like that. Now this is going to thicken up in the microwave and it's going to expand as well. So that's why you don't want to fill this all the way up to the top with oatmeal and liquid. Um, so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to put it in my microwave for about two minutes. That's all it takes in my microwave and it'll be ready to eat. So I've just taken my oatmeal out of the oven and this is how it much it expanded and it's quite thick now, see? So what I like to do is serve this with just a little bit of my cashew milk here. I love this stuff. Just pour a little over top and you've got yourself a really nice, yummy, kind of stick to your guts kind of breakfast. <laughs> this stuff will take you through the whole morning. That's why I love eating this because it just makes you nice and full and it just feels so good to have something nice and warm for breakfast in the winter time. So there you have it. I hope you guys try one of these for yourself. They really are yummy. I know it's kind of the end of the season now, but like I gave you a little tip the other day, you can freeze eggnog very easily. So if you can still find it in your grocery stores, pop a couple of those cartons into the freezer and then you can enjoy eggnog any time of the year that you like. Um, so yeah, that's my share for this morning. Uh, I do have kind of an exciting video that I'm going to be posting tomorrow. If you guys like fairy gardens, well, there actually isn't any fairies in this particular garden, but if you like mini gardens, um, I just put together a really awesome one yesterday. I used some of those little uh, Christmas trees that I got for cheap the other day, and I'm so excited to share this with you because I think it's probably one of my favorite gardens to date. I just need to put the finishing touches on that later today, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. And until next time, have a great day and I'll catch you again tomorrow. All right, bye everybody. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Yum. <laughs>